Hello everyone, here we are going to cover a very important topic that is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So in your university exam, you either get a long question as well as usually short question on four important non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that is diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, DLBCL, follicular lymphoma, Burkitt lymphoma or hairy cell leukemia or lymphoma. So we will be covering these lymphomas in detail here. So let's start it. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So let's start the important topic that is NHL, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So here, as I told you, we will be covering four important types of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. First, we will see the classification. And among the classification, we will cover four important types of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. That is diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, most common uh, non-Hodgkin's uh, non lymphoma. That is known as DLBCL, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, DLBCL. This is the most common type of NHL. Among all all the NHL, the most common is this one only. So very frequently you get question on DLBCL, a short note. Okay. The second is the follicular lymphoma. The third is the Burkitt lymphoma. And last one, here is a leukemia or lymphoma. We will be covering all these four lymphomas in a particular sequence. I will let you know the introduction of each of them, age uh, in which they are most common present, the age presentation of each of them, clinical features, pathogenesis, biopsy and immunophenotype of each of them. So we will make a comparative table in the end between the four. So let's start it. So first have a look on the classification of lymphoma. We know there are two types of lymphomas, Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We do this classification based on the RS cell. So this is a simplified uh, classification. If the RS cell that is reed Sternberg cell is present, it's Hodgkin's lymphoma. If the RS cell that is reed Sternberg cell is absent, it's known as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. This is a simple classification. But if we see the WHO classification, we divide lymphomas among five categories. I mean, Hodgkin is one of the category, but the non-Hodgkin we divide in four more categories. So total five categories are there. One is of Hodgkin and four categories of non-Hodgkin. That is total five categories. According to WHO, we divide the lymphoma like that. So one is Hodgkin's lymphoma and the remaining four are non-Hodgkin. So non-Hodgkin, we divide them in four categories. Precursor B cell neoplasm, precursor T cell neoplasm. So precursor B cell, precursor T cell. Peripheral B cell neoplasm and peripheral T cell. So the B cell and the T cell, they can be precursor, they can be peripheral. So we divide them in total five categories. So what is the classification of lymphoma? What is the classification? WHO classification of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, uh, overall lymphoma. So we divide the lymphomas according to WHO into five categories. Lymphoid lymphomas. We divide them in five categories. What are the five categories? So one of the categories is Hodgkin's lymphoma. The remaining four are non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So they can be precursor B cell, precursor T cell, peripheral B cell, and peripheral T cell lymphomas. So we divide them into these categories. These are non Hodgkin's lymphoma, this is Hodgkin's lymphoma. So you can learn that. Among them, the most common lymphomas fall in peripheral B cell category. So I will not be discussing the complete lymphomas, but I will be discussing here the most important four which are there in your syllabus. And in your syllabus, the examiner is asking the question from these four only. Which four? So we will be discussing follicular lymphoma, Burkitt lymphoma, hairy cell lymphoma, leukemia, or uh, diffuse large B cell lymphoma, that is DLBCL. We will discuss these four in detail so you've got an orientation that among the classification these four are coming where they are falling where so i request all my dear students to take out your notebook take out your pen and make this table with me right now watching the session so don't delay just make this table with me only and i will also fill this with you so uh, it will fit in your permanent memory and in the end you can revise it very quickly so first of all we will discuss dlbcl then we will come on uh, follicular lymphoma then burkitt lymphoma and then hairy cell lymphoma hairy cell lymphoma or leukemia both we will discuss them in the sequence and I will let you know the introduction of each of them, age group in which they present, clinical features, pathogenesis, biopsy and immunophenotyping. immunophenotyping. Most important is the biopsy. Usually short note or very short note comes on the biopsy. You have to draw the biopsy of all of them. So I will teach you how to draw it. I will explain you how to draw it. So let's start with the first one, DLBCL. What is DLBCL? What is the full form of DLBCL? DLBCL is diffuse large B cell lymphoma. DLBCL. Diffuse large B cell lymphomas, DLBCL. So first of all, I will let you know the introduction. In the introduction, you must know among all type of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, you can see these are the various types of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in front of you. Among them, the most common is DLBCL. The most common is only one, DLBCL. Most common type of NHL in the world also, in the India also. It is having worse prognosis, very poor prognosis among all NHL. Among all NHL, it is the most common and among all NHL, it is having the worst prognosis. It is a tumor of mature B cells. It presents in old age, around 60 years, around 60 years. And 